Welcome back to Recap IT. Today we are going to recap a 2019 romantic drama movie titled After. Tressa Young is a dedicated student, dutiful daughter and loyal girlfriend to her high school sweetheart. Entering her first semester of college, Tessa's guarded world opens up when she meets Hart and Scott, a mysterious and brooding rebel who makes her question all she thought she knew about herself, and what she wants out of life. But before we begin, please consider subscribing to this channel. Now without wasting any further time, let's begin shall we? Teresa appears at the start of the film. He completed high school and got accepted into college. She was content with her existence, but her mother made all of her decisions. Her mother, too, was a fan of her boyfriend. Noah was the name of their boy companion. Noah and Teresa have been best friends since they were children. Then Teresa, along with her mother and boyfriend, enrolls in a new college. Teresa is going to stay at this hostel. The roommates, on the other hand, were ultra-modern. Tracer's mother says that this room isn't suited for him, but that he will be moved. Teresa answers, okay, I'll just study and stay away from them. His mother concurs. Her boyfriend was concerned since the distance between them would widen dramatically. Teresa was introduced to her roommate, Step, after they had left. Why did you bring so many books, Step asks. Teresa claims that she enjoys reading. Tresha goes to college the next day, when she meets Lendon and develops a bond with him. Tresha's first friend is Lendon. Tresha excelled in school and aspires to pursue a career in finance. Tresha noticed a boy in her room while she was out showering that night. Harding was his name. What are you doing in my room? Tresha asks. I'm your roommate's friend, according to Harden. In actuality, Harden arrived at the gathering to accompany Step. Tresha is invited to the party by Step. Tresha, on the other hand, says no. Because he has a lot of reading to do. Tresha reads all day while the other kids having a good time. Tresha, seeing all of this, too wants to have a good time. Step appeared that day and asked, will you join me for a party today? Tresha agrees to go this time. After that, he went to the party and had a great time. Everyone knows who he is, and Hardin was present. Tresha refused to drink until her friend forced her to. Then they played a game of truth or dare. Tresha is challenged, and a girl named Molly declares that you and Hardin will kiss right now. Hardin comes to kiss Trachea. Tresha, on the other hand, dismisses the game and departs. Tresha seeks refuge in a room on the second floor. This room was full of books, and the books love to be worn. Hardin then approached and inquired, What are you doing in my room? I was only seeking for a little calm, Tresha claims. You didn't finish your sweetie, according to Hardin. He claims he's going to kiss Tresha, but Tresha refuses. He then walked away. Tresha then returns to college to continue her studies. He became good buddies with Lendon as well. Hardin's father and Lendon's mother are getting married, he learns from Lendon. Hardin and Lendon are therefore brothers. Look, I'm your roommate's friend, Hardin says the next day to Tresha. As a result, we'll meet every day. I believe we should create buddies. Let me show you a great area, Hardin adds. Tresha chooses Hardin. He is taken to a lake by Hardin. It was a stunning location. Hardin arrives and begins to bathe. He also instructs Tresha to enter the water. Tresha Hardin's t-shirt then ended up in the water. They had a great time here. It's my favorite place, according to Hardin. I don't usually bring people here, but I'm not sure why I did this time. Who do you love the most? Tresha asks. Hardin is thinking to himself. Tresha begins to like Hardin at this point. Tresha is also a favorite of Hardin's. They become very near, and when they can't stand it any longer, they kiss. Hardin emerged from the water and began to touch Tresha, but he abruptly stopped. Tesha then asks, why stop? Hardin claims that we have plenty of time. All of this isn't going to work out anytime soon. After then, their relationship began. They spend the majority of their time together. They were both overjoyed. Tresha's boyfriend Noah, on the other hand, arrives the next day. Tresha is overjoyed to see him again. They spend the day together and Noah sleeps in Tresha's room at night. Tresha has a special place in Noah's heart. And he was taken care of. Lendon's phone abruptly rang. Tresha was aware that Lendon and Hardin shared a residence. Tracy arrives and learns from Lendon that Hardin and his father are fighting. That was the source of Harding's rage. Tresha visits Hardin, who informs her that her father is married. Teresa reassures Hardin, it's not my choice, and he understands. Hardin then takes Tresha to his room, where they become intimate for the first time today. 
Tracer remembers that Noah is in her room when she wakes up in the morning. Noah had a number of missed calls as well. Tresha rushes over to take him. He claims I was with him because a friend of mine was in difficulty. When Noah sees Tresha and Hardin together, he realizes what's going on. In a fit of rage, he breaks up with Tracer and flees. Noah is not only Tracy's lover, but also her best friend, thus she is distraught. He was quite nervous for two days. He's entirely forgotten about Noah since he's been with Hardin. Hardin tells a fresh story to Tresha one night as they enter the library. Then there are a few times when they are incredibly nice and intimate. This is how they became acquainted in the room one day. Tracer's mother then walks over and sees everything. Tresha's mother is furious and tells her to end her relationship with Hardin. Tresha, on the other hand, does not listen to her mother. As a result, his mother stormed out, enraged. But it makes no difference. Because he was suddenly flying through the air. Hardin brings Tresha to a hotel the next day. And tell them that you and I shall be here from now on. Tesha then brings all of her belongings from the hostel and moves into this room with Hardin. They were having a great time. There was no term for study as I wandered around aimlessly. Several times a day, they were intimate. Tresha met a girl named Molly, who didn't like Tresha at all, one day. Molly thinks you're a badass. Hardin and I made a wager that he would entrap you in love. And you're in a serious bind. In fact, Hardin placed a wager with his pals. Trash will be sucked into his love trap. Tresha is enraged by this news. He also ends his relationship with Hardin. Yes, Hardin admits, but now I adore you. Tresha had lost faith in Hardin's statements. His psyche has been entirely shattered. Harding's mind, on the other hand, was filled with sadness since he adores Tresha. The next day, Tresha returns home, tells her mother everything, and apologizes to her. He was forgiven by his mother. The mother-daughter relationship then returned to normal. Then he runs towards Noah and apologizes. Tresha is Noah's childhood friend, therefore Noah forgives him. Noah then becomes her best friend rather than her boyfriend. Tresha returns to college the next day. She moves back into her old room, but he can't forget about Hardin. Hardin drove him to the lake's edge. Goes to that location. Hardy also shows up after a while. I'm sure you realize it, but now I adore you, Hardin says. I want to spend the rest of my life with you. Teresa forgives Hardin, and the two are reunited. And this is where the movie comes to an end. I hope you enjoyed it, as always until next time.